Penelope, was it? No, it was not Penelope. Looks like you're judged guilty, man. Sorry about your luck. I think he likes some death threats. Go, go to sleep. Ares is kind for you, puny mortal. And then he sent his warlord, Tabernak. That's right, Traxxas. Welcome to the Masquerade. As you board up the ship and on the first uh, morning of the, the following day, your ship sets sail. After several hours, you lose sight of port, and it's just open ocean. It's uh, calm, there's seagulls, smell of salt water, you're in the Aegean Sea currently. Um, the ship, and you asked me uh, last time what the name of the ship was, the ship is the North Star. Um, and, uh, let's see here. Yeah, there's a captain and crew of maybe about a dozen sailors. Uh, they are transporting some uh, salt and flour and things like that, and uh, you get to ride with them. One of you is working with the crew. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Praxis is having to swab decks and things <laughs> of that nature. These as well. decks have never been cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> Back to work there. I'm working, sir. Julie will have this deck cleaner than sweepings. Uh, after about a day of sailing with no incidents, uh, you retire to the um, to the hold. Finally, after a day's worth of swabbing, I can retire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you get a hammock. And I uh, believe you get a hammock. You just had common passage, didn't you? Yep. All right. Uh, you sleep soundly through the night, and you are asleep in your hammock, and you hear something. You open your eyes, and what you see about a few inches away from your face is a feathered mask and a robed, hooded figure with two shining silver <laughs> daggers. <laughs> Not again. She's straddling you. Oh, in the, in the hammock. And she whispers, Should I be terrified or excited? I'm a little bit of both right now. Uh, she goes to stab you. <laughs> well, I'm guessing I'm not an armor person. Uh, no. No. So, uh, <coughs> let's see. What's your dexterity modifier? Nothing. Oh, alright. That's two hits. Um, as you take, Take six damage. I believe you are. Yeah, you're lightly wounded. Your turn. <laughs> oh boy. All right. <clears throat> Your armor and weapons are close by, but. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Oh, she, uh, I'm sorry. She did get a critical on you. Just right there in the shoulder and just kind of twist it a little bit. Mm, oh, it feels good. Mm. <laughs> I'll uh, attempt to uh, shove her. All right, I'll take an athletics check. Eight. Total? Total. <laughs> With all your might, you try to push her off of you. And as you push, you feel resistance, but not like it's a humanoid form. It feels more like you're pushing through a bunch of feathered pillows. Yes. Yeah. Poof! She disappears into a, a big uh, puff of, of black raven feathers. One more, please. Oh, get off me. Oh. No. Oh. Oh. That's a big feather. Get back here, coward. Just wait 
until I get my spear. Oh, where were those feathers earlier? I could have used it for my hammock. <laughs> <laughs> You're not bleeding from a shoulder wound. I need to uh, check myself like, oh, that was, was that a nightmare? Am I dreaming? Was uh, yeah, you're in the hold with other, some, some other sailors wake up now at this point. What's going on? What's going on over there? Are you all right? Uh, uh, nothing, nothing. Just, just bad dream. Oh, seasick, mate. He's seasick. What? No, yeah. I would never. <laughs> I don't get sick. And one of them limps over to you. He's an older sailor. He's like, here, here, mate. Try some of this. Try some of this. He's got like a box. He opens it up and there's like slimy uh, tentacles in there. Chew on this. It'll, it'll help with that. <laughs> no, no, thank you. No, no. Yeah, I I'll be the, just fine. Chew. He's like chewing on it. So chewy, tough. Yeah, <laughs> just put one in in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, I'll try everything once. Or, 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 yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's disgusting. Slimy. Does it do rubbery. anything for me, though? No. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you don't get a good night's sleep. As trying to go back to sleep, you have the same nightmare. Cersei. Judge. Cersei. Oh, you've been judged. You've been judged. Oh. Cersei. Yes, you. Draxus. Your ship no. is tiny. Much like your little arms. Poor Draxus. You were judge. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Do I get uh, more damage? <laughs> just as you're about to drift off to sleep, you hear a whistle. <whistles> as uh, <laughs> the sailors begin to get up and at them, up and at them, and they hand you a broom or a mop. I'll take the broom. All right, you take the broom. You, you're <laughs> sweeping, sweeping the ways. You're the mopping the deck. <laughs> Back to work there. So tired. It's Cersei. What? I'm still judging you. Cersei. Please don't judge me. Keep I'll swap the deck harder. Judging. Going. All right, well, you spend the next day at sea uh, kind of tossing and turning some. I need a constitution save from both of you, please. Watch me roll. Oh, yeah. uh, 13. You're fine. You've got you find your sea legs very easily. 20. Ooh, yeah, you were born for this. <laughs> Apparently not for pushing feathers, though. <laughs> uh, you're looking like you haven't slept. You've got some bags under your eyes. You've got a little bit of mucus from the... Tentacle on your some face. More, need some more tentacle caffeine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you find yourself up above decks sweeping um, when the, they call out, Ship ahoy! Ship ahoy! They're pointing back behind you. So you got you see back in the distance, there's a ship on the horizon kind of gaining fast. The uh, captain says, you know, at ease, you know, they don't take hostile action. There's lots of ships at sea. Uh, within an hour, the ship catches up to you. I'll go grab my gear. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you've got some time. You got. It takes about ten minutes to don your gear. I would say your armor and weapons and so yeah, forth. Yeah, just chain mail. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, I don't have any gear. I can. You completely naked. Put on. Freedom. <laughs> <laughs> Freedom. <laughs> Say yours. <laughs> She's fur covered. Yeah, at least the, the, the bottom of her is at least. Yeah. She's totally fur covered in all the places. Okay, she okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do a perception check on the ship. Sure. See what Take I can do. <laughs> That's not very high. Six. It doesn't ha take a very perceptive person to notice that this ship is at least twice the size of your current vessel. It's got a uh, 
like a naval ramming uh, barrier in the front of the uh, port. No, what no, about the, the, the flag? Wait, no, no, no. The uh, aft, the forward, <laughs> is it the front part of the ship? It's the bow, dummy. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I don't sail in real life, just so everybody knows. Uh, yeah, the, the front part of the ship, it's, it's gilded. It's got this big <laughs> ram thing on it. Uh, the the uh, railings have got, like, uh, some, like, copper plates or whatever. It's very fancy, about twice the size of yours. I forget what their directions are. I know that two of them are port and starboard. I think that's left and right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe. But uh, it... it it pulls up to within around 100 feet, around shouting distance, just off of your port or star. Well, they're going to do bad mouth, the North Star saying, you guys are slow. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> <laughs> you do see a glint of light coming from that other ship. It's just like a, a glint of light. And after you grab your eyes and kind of shield a little bit, you notice that it's gleaming bronze armor, like a chest piece. And there's a gleaming bronze helmet with a with a big bright plume of red on it. Whoa! He's so shiny, whoever that guy is. Seriously. Ahoy there, seafaring vessel. My, uh, that's an awful small boat. Look at the muscles in here. Well, hello, all you sinners. Uh, this figure's got a billowing red cape. Tabernacle. Uh, you do recognize this person, but it's not Tabernacle. Hmm, Telemachus. Ahoy there! Is that you, Draxus? <laughs> I'll kind of like you do recognize she held my face and look away. <laughs> Is that you, Draxus? Ahoy! You look awful, man, like Hades warmed over. Are you ill? See sick, perhaps. Wait a minute, isn't that Telemic Ah, oh, can't believe it's said that's Telemicus. Telemicus? Please do not tell him this about his muscles. Okay. Oh, good grief, Drexus. Have you been dragged behind the ship? You look awful, man. Your well, ship is so <laughs> slow. Is there a problem? Is it taking on water? <laughs> I refuse to acknowledge him. I'll just continue sleeping. Not everyone gets up at the crack of dawn and does 500 push ups every morning before breakfast. And by breakfast, I mean warlords and tyrants. And stir them in a bowl of milk. Manticore's milk, no less. It's high time. Oh, I get, you should have left an offering to Poseidon, my friend. That's what we did. An offer he couldn't refuse. And the captain of your vessel is like, oh, over there. Well, what offering did you leave? <laughs> I'll, I'll nudge the captain. The captain, he probably offered his family jewels because he doesn't have any more. Oh, ho, ho, the captain laughs at that one. <laughs> He's like, better than that, Draxus. Went to Poseidon's temple and convinced this young maiden I've met in Troy. To be Poseidon's concubine. <laughs> he was so thrilled, he granted me full sails all the way. Mm -hmm. Her name was Leah. Do you know her? <laughs> oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> she might be swimming under your vessel right now, as slow as you are. Uh, Captain, permission to board the enemy ship. <laughs> 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 uh, as you're speaking there, he's like, well, anyways, I can't hang around all day. Have a good one. <laughs> and the, the, the ship kind of begins taking off and taking away from your vessel. Fairly well, Draxus. I hope that the spray from my ship doesn't capsize your vessel.
Telemachus! <laughs> Heed my words! <laughs> I will take you and send you to Hades! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they, they easily outpace your shift and they're gone. You'll pay for that insult tenfold. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, continuing about your day, kind of grumbling about the events. <laughs> Makes me want to grab one of the oars if they got them and start rowing to go make the ship go faster. <laughs> I'll show you. I'll show you. <laughs> uh, I don't know where the sailing You'll be the concubine when I'm done with you. Okay, you, fi- you find a long oar. I'll, I'll take an athletics <laughs> Here I come, Telemachus. Natural 20. Ooh, natural 20. This ship's like a speedboat. <laughs> okay. Uh, you rally some of the other sailors, and you uh, come on, man. go down there and just pour your <laughs> big demigod muscles into it, and you just row, row, row. All right, man, let's go. Catch up to Telemachus. Dilemmacus is late. Dilemmacus is late. Everybody! D A L L. Dilemmacus is late. I don't care. I don't care. Dilemmacus is late. Dilemmacus is late. T A L L. Dilemmacus is late. Go! 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 You cut about a half a day's travel time <laughs> off, but you do not catch up with Dilemmacus. <laughs> You'll be the concubine. You'll be the concubine. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you'd like to do next week while you're sailing? Um, no, no. <laughs> you're just There's enjoying no. the show? Yeah. <laughs> the, ship, the ship picks up speed, you're not sure why. But. <laughs> Come on, man. Let's go. This is so much fun. Wee, this is great time. Row, row. Oh, look, it's a whale. It's so big. I want to catch it. Everyone, turn around. Let's catch whale. Do you want me to catch up to him? I think she can get away with doing that to us weekly. Hello? Anyone listening to me? Oh, you're back there rowing the boat. Okay, have fun. Not on my watch, Telemachus. You hear me, Telemachus? <laughs> that night, you lay exhausted in your hammock, trying to drift off to sleep. Now I'm having nightmares of my wife being a concubine. You decide to get up to go to the bathroom. I'm glad. So you get up and you go to the privy, <laughs> open the door to the privy, and standing in the privy it's is a hooded, cloaked figure with a feather mask that draws two daggers. Oh, I'm peeing on this cloaked figure. <laughs> <laughs> You may. Do you have a dagger <laughs> or, or a sword? Ah, uh, let me check. You're you're unarmored, but if you have a dagger or a sword, you can carry it with you. <laughs> no, I do not. I've got javelins. <laughs> so yeah, you're unarmored. Uh, unarmored. Crowbar. Crowbar. Okay, so that's the improvised one. So roll for initiative for me. <laughs> Natural twenty. Really? I got a nineteen. So. <laughs> Natural 20 wins it. I would rather that be my attack roll than you go first. <laughs> You're first to one. <laughs> so, uh, how does an improvised weapon work? Uh, no proficiency bonus. Okay. Just my whatever modifier. Yeah. Does a 10 hit? No. As you Actually, try to... Sorry, smack. it's 11. Oh, 11? All right. <laughs> Did you try to smack her with a crowbar? <laughs> and she... While she's peeing on her. She deflects it with a dagger and makes a... Uh, Slice at you, it actually does not hit. 
So it just gets your clothing is torn. The, my stream of, is so powerful. It deflects your blows. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not going to the bathroom yet. Oh. Okay, you're doing it. She deserves it, though. Do you want to go to the bathroom now? <laughs> I'll hold it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. 19. 19 is you just give her a jab just straight into the chest area with the crowbar. <laughs> she turns into feathers. <laughs> oh, judged. You've been judged. <laughs> yeah, you're about to be peed on them. <laughs> uh, you find another night without the benefits of a long rest. Until I'm getting first class next time. Uh, you're looking even worse. And you're feeling great. You're enjoying your stay on the ship. and it's Enjoying the in-flight movies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another day passes. Another half a day, I'll say. Uh, you're, uh, now you're kind of hoisting ropes up on the, the main decks and tying ropes and doing that kind of thing. In the meantime... Be nice if I could have things. Yeah. Uh, you've been judged. Um, I'd like to try and get to uh, Nixie mm-hmm. and ask her. Um, <clears throat> uh, lately, I haven't been getting any, getting much sleep. There's assassins trying to kill me. You have to believe me. I need you to watch me tonight so I can get some sleep, please. Okay, that's kind of weird. I haven't seen assassins here. <laughs> and then I'll get back to you. <laughs> shipwreck! Oh, it's starboard bow! Shipwreck! It'd be shipwreck if I don't get any sleep. <laughs> you, you hear the, uh, some of the sailors hollering down from the crow's nest, and looking over, you do see debris of uh, crates, barrels, ship hull, dead bodies floating in the water. Please Sharks be are beginning to... <laughs> Please be <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll take a perception check for both of them. Twelve. Two. <laughs> no, actually, negative two. Negative two. <laughs> Oh. Or, no, it'd be zero. It's a minus two for my ability check. <laughs> hey, what's that? Is that a shipwreck? Oh, I'm right on. I think I saw the Where? I can't see. Ah. Oh, I can't. More oh, ice. So much salt there. water. Why did we take the ship? With a zero. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, peering over the rail, a splash oh. of salt water <laughs> gets into your eyes. They burn red, and you ah, the ramekins. <laughs> you see that it is uh, the remnants of a merchant vessel, and you can tell that it has markings of naval warfare, oh. as if it had been uh, like there are some big ballista bolts sticking out of some of the the remnants of the hull. And it's all kind of slowly, well, rapidly sinking. Do you see Tom McCann's? Uh, <laughs> there are some intact crates and barrels as the crew of your ship, the North Star, begins uh, casting lines and going down in a rowboat to try to collect some of this stuff. Uh, mm-hmm. I'll try Can to I? catch a few Z's. <laughs> <laughs> you're trying to go, okay. you're going to go down below hold. <laughs> <laughs> Sneak away. <laughs> Take a nap. As soon as you open the uh, hatch door and look down the ladder as you're about to head down, uh, you see a feathered mass. Uh, close the latch. <laughs> <laughs> You've been... <laughs> you <laughs> sit on it. <laughs> sit on the latch. I'm going to wake up. Nothing. Checking in. Oh, okay, go back down. <laughs> All right, you head back down. <laughs> oh, no, she's been waiting. <laughs> You take six bludgeoning damage as your feet are yanked down from under you 
and your face hits the ladder rungs all the way down to the bottom and you crumple them to a pile. <laughs> you feel a boot kick you just to turn you over and, and step on your chest. And you see a feathered, masked, hooded person saying, You can judge. <laughs> <laughs> Feathers fall onto you. Hi, Zeus, when I get my hands on your feathered butt. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, above decks, they are hauling crates and barrels and things like that. Some of the sailors are like, if you give us a hand, you can have some of those. Ooh, I would help. All right, I'll take an investigation check. Okay. Please. Keep rolling low. <laughs> Nine. Nine? All right. Um, you find... Something. A crate, um, it's like a chest actually, kind of floating, and you grab it, and it's a smaller one, uh, and you're able to haul it up back into the mm -hmm. to the ship. They're opening up, the sailors are getting supplies out of these crates, and there's fish in barrels, and uh, like um, ale in barrels, bottles of rum. <laughs> uh, your chest contains 30 dinars. And some other goodies. This trip is great. Ooh, glittering treasures. Wow, so many coins. Ooh, more goodies. There is a steel tankard, which is like a cup, with an ornate silver scroll work handle. Looks like it could be valuable. And also a pewter rapier inlaid with ornate electrum scroll work. Ooh. It looks like it would function as a rapier hand. It's also valuable. Can I try and see how valuable it is? Yes. Oh, a natural one. <laughs> you think maybe it's junk. Possibly. <laughs> 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 Uh, uh, one of the sailors offers you five dinars for the sword, and you take it. Oh, okay. So take the sword <laughs> off and get five dinars. Um. All right, and uh, you're still below hole. Yeah, you're hearing a lot of commotion. Up here. <laughs> I'm going to do a second land and get some health back here. Okay, dude, go ahead and do a second land. Let me know how much health you can do. Hey, how you doing? Come here often? It's your kind of breathing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that a one or a seven? <laughs> okay, it's a one, so I only get <laughs> <a> one. <laughs> I only get three health back. Oh, better than nothing. So you're to twelve, right? Yeah. Okay. So you now you're just bloody. Um you find that you are alone in the hold. There's nobody else around down there in the dark hold with you. You can hear something faintly. It's like a whisper. <laughs> I will hunt down the source of the sound. Okay, I'll take a perception check, please. Natural 20. Woohoo, really? Let's see. Uh, hiding in like one of the corners, like behind one of the hammocks, mm -hmm. you see a crouched hood and, uh, like a hooded figure with a, with a feather mask mm -hmm. with the hood pulled and she's just kind of crouched there. <laughs> All right. How far away is she from me? I'll say she's like about 20 feet. Okay. Um, I'd like to engage her in battle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll take an uh, initiative roll. 16. Did you be a natural 20? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Actually, do you, uh, we'll say that you got you, you 
put your armor on and your grab your pole on at this point. Okay. And uh, go ahead. You have the first. Oh no! Wait. No, I got an extra twenty, didn't I? No, yeah. no. <laughs> he already said I get to go first. <laughs> she comes and pulls daggers out. She cuts one of the hammocks down. She walks over thirty feet and cuts another hammock down. Good night. You've been judged. Oof. No. I have a plan this time. <laughs> <laughs> Above decks, they fish out a barrel, the sailors do. Like, oh man, this is heavy. This is a heavy barrel. Let's find what's in it, lads. They grab crowbars and <laughs> crack it open. Life is good. But it can be better. Because all the sailors, the, the crew is probably going to blame me. You, you went around trying to hack at her while she natural kind of baby. Me. I'm good guard. I am guard goat. <laughs> He's whispering to me now. <laughs> I can't get him out of my room. I'm whispering to Drexus. I will offer to get my new concubine, Drexus. Your mother. Greetings, adventurers. I salute you. For watching our video, please be sure to subscribe. It helps the cause, you know. And if you want some homebrew campaign quality stuff, check out dmsguild.com Fire Smart Studios. Don't forget to support us on Patreon also. That's American Dungeon Dad on Patreon. Farewell. <laughs>